Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn that how to plot the grain size distribution curve for the results of the sieve analysis of a soil. And we will also learn that how can we classify the soil using the unified soil classification system as well as the Ashto's soil classification system from the grain size analysis. I have been given the results of sieve analysis of a non-plastic soil. You can see the table in which the column first shows the US sieve number and column second it shows the mass of soil retained on each sieve. I have to find the percent finer than each sieve and then plot a grain size distribution curve. Determine D10, D30 and D60 from the grain size distribution curve. Calculate the uniformity coefficient as well as the coefficient of the gradation. And finally, I have to classify the soil using the unified soil classification system as well as the Ashto soil classification system. So let us first draw a table of a grain size distribution. So this is the table for this uh, results of the sieve analysis of a soil in which I have been given six columns the first column it is for the US sieve number the column second it is the sieve size of the corresponding sieve number that is for the first sieve number four its sieve size is 4.75 mm for sieve number 10 its sieve size is 2 mm for sieve number 20 its size is 0.85 mm and so on for the rest of the sieves column third it's uh, shows the mass of the soil retained on each C which is given in the question so the total mass of the soil which is retained on all uh, sieves it will be the sum of these uh, results so it will be 617 grams column fourth it shows the percent retained on each sieve this is obtained by dividing the mass of soil retained on each sieve by the uh, total mass which is 617 and multiply it with the 100 to get the value in percent so for the first sieve it will be 28 divided by 617 multiplied by 100 which is 4.54 for second sieve it will be 42 divided by 617 into 100 which is 6.81 and for the third sieve it will be 48 divided by 617 into 100 which is 7.78 percent and you can similarly find the percent retained on each sieve for rest of the sieves. Column 5, it shows the cumulative percent retained on each sieve. So for first sieve, it will be same as percent retained. So it will be 4.54. For the second sieve, it will be 4.54 plus 6.81, which is 11.35. For third sieve, it will be 11.35 plus 7.78, which is 19.13. For the last C or pan, it will be 100%. Column 6, this shows the percent finer. So this is obtained by 100 minus column 5, which is, that is for the first C, it will be 100 minus 4.54, which is 95.46. For second C, it will be 100 minus 11.35, which is 88.65. For third C, it will be 100 minus 19.13 which is 80.87 and so on for the rest sieve for the pan it will be zero zero percent so after getting the percent finer now we can plot a graph between the sieve size in mm and percent finer so let us plot a graph uh, between C size and percent finer in Excel to get the grain size distribution curve. Now that we are in Excel, we will plot the grain size distribution curve. This is obtained by plotting a graph between the C size in mm versus the percent finer. So we can see the table between C size and percent finer. To get the graph, we will select our data and then click on the insert tab. Then we will go to the charts and select scatter with smooth lines. This will give us a chart 
between the sieve size and the percent finder. To get the grain size distribution curve, we have to make some modifications to this chart. First, we will add the axis title. Then we will change the horizontal scale to the logarithmic scale. This is obtained by double clicking on the horizontal scale and then selecting the logarithmic scale. And then we will also write the values in the reverse order. And we will let the vertical axis cross the horizontal axis at the maximum axis value. We will also let the tick marks visible for the minor values on the horizontal axis. This will help us to get the values for D10 and D30. We will also make some modifications to the vertical scale. Let the maximum value of the vertical axis be 100. This will change the major units to 100 and minor units to 2. Then we will write the name for the horizontal axis, which is the sieve size or particle size in mm. And for vertical axis, we'll name it percent finer. So this is our graph, which shows the grain size distribution curve. The next thing which we have to find is the values of the D10, D30 and D60. This is obtained from the graph. To get these values, we will click on the insert tab and then we will go to the shapes. To find the value of the D10, we will draw a horizontal line at 10% finer and see where it touches the curve. The point where it touches the curve, from that point, we will draw a vertical line and this will give us the value of the D10. So we can see that our D10 is falling between 0 0.1 and the second one is 0 0.2. It is close to 0 0.2. So we can say that the value of D10 is 0 0.16 mm. Similarly, for D30, we will again draw a horizontal line at 30% finer. See where it cuts the curve. From that point, we will draw a vertical line. The point where the vertical line touches the horizontal axis, this will be our the value of the D30, which in this case is 0 0.29 mm. For D60, again, draw a horizontal line at 60% finer. See where it touches the curve. From that point, draw a vertical line. The point where the vertical line touches the horizontal axis gives us the value of D60, which in this case is 0 0.42 mm. So this gives us the value of D10, D30 and D60. Now that we have the values, for these D10, D30 and D60, we will be able to classify the soil using the unified soil classification system. So let us classify the soil. From the grain size distribution curve, I got the values of D10 as 0 0.16 mm, D30 as 0 0.29 mm and D60 as 0 0.42 mm. Now we will classify the soil using the unified soil classification system. So I can see that percentage of gravel, which is from 80 mm to 4.75 mm, it will be 100 minus 95.46, which is 4.54%. Percentage of sand, it will be from 4.75 to 0 0.075 mm, which will be 95.46 minus 3.88, which is 91.58%. Percentage of fine fraction, which is less than 0 0.075 mm, will be 3.88%. Uniformity coefficient, this is obtained by dividing the value of D60 by D10. 
so it will be 0 0.42 divided by 0 0.16 which is 2.63 coefficient of curvature or gradation it will be d 30 square divided by d 60 into d 10 which is equal to 0 0.29 square divided by 0 0.42 into 0 0.16 which equals to 1.25 i can see that uh, this soil has been already given as non-plastic so plasticity index will be np that is non-plastic for this soil more than 50 percent of the soil passes c number four so it is a sandy soil that is the percentage of sand is the major fraction in the soil so symbol s will be used also fine fraction of this soil that is uh, fraction less than 0.075 mm is less than 5% soil is non-plastic and cu value is less than 6 and coefficient of gradation that is cc values between 1 to 3 this soil is a poorly graded soil that is we can say that the coarse fraction of the soil is poorly graded since the major portion of the soil is sand so we can classify the soil as poorly graded sand that is the group symbol will be sp according to the uscs system now according to the ashto's classification system we can see that the less than 35 percent of the soil passes c number 200 so it falls under the granular materials percent passing c number 10 is 88.65 for C number 40 it is 60.12 and for C number 200 it is 3.88 this soil is also non-plastic which is given in the question so we will use the ashtos table and proceed from left to right to find the ashtos classification we can see that our percent passing the C number 10 is 88.65 so we will start from the left for a1a maximum fraction that can pass the c number 10 is 50 and for c number 40 is 30 so this rules out a1a for a1b maximum fraction passing c number 40 is 50 so this also rules out a1b we can see that for a3 the fraction passing the c number 40 is 51 minimum and for c number 200 maximum passing is 10 and also plus c index is non-plastic so we can see our soil uh, matches the characteristics of a3 so we can say that our soil is a3 from ashto's table also the group index of the soil belonging to the a3 group is always zero so final classification of the soil according to the ashto will be a30 so a30 will be the ashto soil classification for this soil this is how we can plot the grain size distribution curve uh, from the results of the sieve analysis of a soil and we can also classify the soil using the unified soil classification system as well as the ashto's class vacation system i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new from this video you can subscribe to my channel to stay connected and also you can share my videos with your friends thanks for watching my videos and i will see you in the next video